So I have a fusion composition here, just a little bit of visual effects, adding some digital rain. Pretty exciting. This is what we're doing, just adding this rain here. It's gonna take some tweaking to make this look realistic, but let's say I want to copy this composition. Making copies. <laughs> You can do this with any composition in Fusion. Probably the very easiest version of this is if you want to copy this effect to another clip, well, hey, you can just select whatever nodes you want to copy and hit Control C. And you can open up your clips here in the timeline and find another clip we want to copy this to. How about this one? And we'll just disconnect our nodes, click in here and hit Control V. And we can just paste this in like that. And then we have all of our nodes and everything that we were doing in our other clip here available for this clip. Now we're going to have to tweak it and actually make it look good. For visual effects, if you're tracking and that kind of thing, you're gonna to have to do that again. I'll have to do my magic mask again, but everything's copied over and so I can have a different kind of tweaked version for this clip really easily. Let's look at another scenario. I'm gonna right click here in my media pool and say new fusion composition. And let's just make some kind of graphics here. We'll just add a background and some text. Cool, maybe a little bit of fog with this fast noise here. And we'll just mask that fog. Okay, there's our title. Let's say that that looks amazing, right? And we want to copy this and change it. Well, of course we could make a new fusion composition and copy and paste these nodes just like before. Or we can go into our fusion composition here. We'll just say title one. We could just right click on it and say duplicate clip, and that's going to copy it. So title, let's just call this title two, double click on it, and that'll open it here in the fusion page and we'll just say title two. So now we have title one and title two and those live in our media pool. If we have these in a timeline, let's just create a new timeline with this. Show our page navigation here. We have a title here in our timeline. I can copy this title just by holding Alt and dragging it like that. And what that's going to do is make a new copy of the title. Now, neither this clip nor this clip are actually going to change this composition that's in the media pool. These are both copies of it. So if I were over this title one and go into Fusion and change the text color to, I don't know, green, and then head back to the edit page, it's green on my timeline, but this original title, the one that I dragged from the media pool is still white, okay? Because in this timeline, that is a copy of it. Same thing here. This is also a copy of it and it's a separate copy. So if I were to go into Fusion here and make this text pink, one of these is gonna be pink, the other one's gonna be green, okay? Those are separate, same thing Again, title one here is white. So anytime that you drag a fusion composition into a timeline, it's essentially making a copy of it, which is great if you want to use something as like a starting point or kind of a, a beginning template. That can be really helpful if you know what's going on. Another thing to mention is that you can drag one of these to your power bin, which if you don't know, a power bin in your media pool is like a folder that kind of stays in all of your projects that are in your library. And so for instance, here in my power bin, I have a title, which also happens to be called title one. This is a title that I made the other day, a test title. <laughs> and so this is again, a copy that lives here in my power bin. Now, if I were to adjust this in my power bin, that would change it in my power bin for all of my projects. But when I drag it down into a timeline, then it's making a copy of it. By the way, if you don't see this power bends thing, go over to these three dots in your media pool and make sure that you have show power bins selected or else it won't show up. It'll be like that, okay? Now, one more really cool thing about this. Uh, if I go into Fusion and I were to grab all of these and hit Control C to copy, what that's doing is actually copying all of these nodes to my clipboard in Windows or in whatever your operating system is. And so if I were to open up Notepad, some kind of text editor and hit paste, look at this. This is what those nodes look like just as kind of raw data. It's scripting. And so what's really neat is you can just copy and paste whatever nodes you're doing into a notepad. You could send it in an email. You could send it as a text message, I guess, if you wanted to, but it's just text. And so you can copy and paste it this way too. What's also really cool is you can go in here and you can adjust it 
you can go into the code and actually play with it. So here we have our text color. And so I could change this text around. I could even change the text that's in, you know, changed text like this. Control A, Control C, Control V. Look at that, we have changed text. Isn't that crazy? So there are a lot of ways that you can copy your comps in Fusion. If you wanna learn more about Fusion, I have a free workshop on motion graphics right here. We go through animating with shapes and vectors and all kinds of fun stuff. If you're just getting into Fusion, you're going to love this, okay? See you there. I'll catch you on the flip side.